Well, welcome my friends to the orientation of the class, Marketing 1311, Principles of Marketing. And this is a faster course. It's a 12-week course that's starting February 12th, 13th. Uh, and I'm excited that you're here. It's going to be a little bit faster, so instead of doing a full orientation during the first day of class, we're going to get right into some fun fun study of marketing. So um, hopefully you will view this before you come to class. This gives you an overview of what we're going to do. My name is Randy Sala. I am an assistant professor of business here at Tarrant County College, and I'll be leading you through this great course of marketing. I like to look at courses, and I like to you know why we do things, and, and that is the why, the what, and the how. So our motivation for taking the course, all right, what we're going to do in the course, and of course how the process will be. So a chaotic world, the why, you know, we're surviving in chaos here. Uh, I'm a big fan of Michael Crichton, one of my favorite authors, and you probably are familiar with Michael Crichton. If you've ever seen the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World franchise, Michael Crichton wrote those books uh, back in the 80s. And uh, he was a doctor, always seemed to be way ahead of his time. If you have HBO and you've seen Westworld, that's a Michael Crichton creation. The series ER in the 80s and 90s that got George Clooney's uh, start, Michael Crichton wrote all of that. And so he came out with this chaotic dis uh, theory, which things that we think are very stable and predictable have a variable that happens and becomes very random, disruptive events, weather, economics, education, health, uh, things that we think should be very easy to understand. Uh, one little thing, COVID, <laughs> comes in and blows it up. So uh, we're trying to survive in this. And so writing a business, uh, owning a business, running a business, you don't have to be a business major, but you know we live in a marketing world. So that's kind of why I like to teach the course, why we should take things. Uh, it is trying to survive in a chaos. Let's look at chaos and extinction. And that's what generally happens in Crichton's theory there. If we don't adapt and move on to the next level, we just become extinct. This is very interesting. 52%, that's 260 of the Fortune 500 companies that were on the list in 2000. 260, 52% are extinct. They're not even an organization anymore. That's pretty chaotic, I believe. And so, again, how we are employed, how we work, how we uh, survive, we have, to, we have to really try to adapt and innovate as very fast as possible. Changing that status quo, all right? So if we look at these, right, you know, these are concentric circles. Concentric circles all have the same midpoint. And every area in here, we get into a new circle. Something pushes the U.S. economy into growth, and that is our technology and innovation and our gross domestic product, which is kind of like our income in the United States, grows every year. Hopefully, if it doesn't grow, then we're in a recession. But if we look at it this way, this is the next, the next technology pushes us through. So this circle right here, the black circle, represents the innovation happening and pushes us into a new frontier. So you kind of think, where do you want to be? Uh, do I want to be right back in here where, the, where, where it's not so chaotic? Or, or do I want to go all the way over the chaos and I could drop over? It's interesting. We look at Kodak, Sears, some of the bigger businesses that, that, that owned their industry. They didn't adapt. They got so big, they just didn't think they needed to. And they kept back here and they just became extinct. If we go too far, we can become extinct as well and to, and, and before the next layer appears. So we've got to put ourselves somewhere around here, somewhere where the action is happening close to it and understand how we can adapt through that. So I like to say we change the status quo. Many students come in here thinking, you know what, I'm a customer of Tarrant County College. Treat me as the customer. I think that's the wrong mindset, my friends. I think you're not the customer. You're the product. You are going into the workforce. You're going up to the next university. We really, all of us, always have to amp our game up to survive and, and keep employed in this world. That's what I mean by changing that status quo. So that's why I like to uh, come out on our first day and, and get excited about that. The, the what? So what are some of the learning objectives of this course? Well, we're going to look at marketing, okay, and what that is. And, and these are the principles of how I teach. 
I like to be relevant. I like to be practical and simple. So relevancy, practicality, and simplicity. As Leonardo da Vinci said, simplicity is the most eloquent design. You know, you got to be able to use some of this stuff and, and versus just textbook definitions. So learning how to analyze the marketing environment. I have a, uh, uh, some things for you, maybe, maybe some videos to look at as well, but uh, creating value. My friends, this is this is value that we have to create every day to, to keep our jobs, to keep employed, to keep our businesses running, our organizations running. And again, marketing manages all that change. Um, we'll look at basic analysis, you know, there's forces that hit the business. There's forces that hit our marketing as well. So we have our place, product, price, promotion, people. That's the marketing mix. We have a target market. We have a business. But we have so many different forces hitting that. Competition, politics, economy, social, cultural. I'm going to have a, a separate video on this for you so it gets you up to pace as we get into this course. So just a little bit of, of how to look at the marketing environment itself. Friends, we also look at consumer purchases. This is a basic 101 marketing class. So I want to look at a little bit of psychology and sociology. If you like psychology and you like sociology, I think you like the field of marketing because we are using the applied aspects of that. Why? Why do I have to have the latest phone that comes out? What's the psych psychology behind each purchase? How fast will people adopt to a new product, a new technology? When do people purchase? If we can figure out and understand that, you can be very, very valuable in, 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 in an organization standpoint. Marketing, I like to think, is the revenue producing side. This is sales. So if you're talking to somebody who's been in sales a while, they'll tell you nothing gets done until it gets sold. And so we're going to look at careers and some ideas, but if you can always get yourself on the side that is, that's trying to aggressively bring in revenue, yeah, you, you tend to have a very good career. Everything else is a cost, okay? Uh, and so be on the revenue producing side. If you like these things, I think you like the field of marketing. What we really want to get out of this course is, yes, there's social media. There's so much going on in the world of marketing. But it always revolves. Every organization, whether it's profit or nonprofit, even governmental, has to have a target customer. We have to have a target market. And so that's what we will do out of this class, defining how to get to our target customer. Once we can clearly identify that, then we can basically strategize our communication, everything around our target market. So we'll segment it, we'll choose it, how are we going to pursue it? Just know every organization has to have. We, don't, we can't be all things to all people. If we're all things to all people, then we're really nothing. Nothing sets us apart. That's a big part of marketing. Once we find that, we have the strategy around. And again, the marketing mix is product. We have to have a product or service. We have to have a price. There's, there's our revenue to, to, to price it at. Uh, we have to have the promotion, of course. That's the communicating the value. Got to have a place. So where does our consumer find that product online drop ship to them is they go into a brick and mortar store is it a service that's actually provided to somebody's business or home uh all that goes into it and of course people that's going to be us we love that we we would love to see the um uh, lots of good jobs there that's what we look in the people field so that's what we're looking at right in there and of course the connections of social media marketing there's a tremendous amount of in IT that has really blown up this field. We see it every day. We're being tracked every day. Our conversations are being listened to. Um, all of that sends that advertisement to you on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your uh, whatever uh, social media platform you're on, YouTube, and you know gets us the products that we like. And there's some interesting careers in there. So we'll look at that connection as well. All right, the how. So the how, how will this course operate? Well, um, I like to think of all my courses as Las Vegas, and that is whatever happens in Vegas should stay in Vegas. So trying to make it as flexible as possible, my friends. I think we need flexibility. We know COVID hadn't disappeared. Uh, we know, you know people can get sick pretty easily. Uh, we have very high inflation rates, which means I know you gotta work. So this is a hybrid course, which is nice. So we will just meet on Tuesdays, Tuesday evenings for this course. Um, 
although it says lectures on Monday because I also teach a Monday Wednesday course so our online course resources for Wednesday will be doing our projects nice um, I also have plenty of things for you if you do miss class maybe due to a sickness or health or or something like that that you can pretty much always keep up now since this is an online hybrid course everything we do will be on our canvas website and I'm going to show you how to navigate through that my role is to hopefully keep it organized I've got you notes and exam reviews uh, guide you through any assignments and again I hope you can utilize this class in everyday life because we live in a free market economy which makes marketing the change agent through all of of everything that we really do I need your help all right your assignments hopefully it won't be this boring uh, it'll be good it'll be good textbook marketing and introduction by Gary Armstrong and Philip Kotler if you're going to buy a book I think you can buy an older edition uh, I think it's in its 15th edition right now so a 13th 12th 13th or 14th would be fine again that is to augment your knowledge in marketing and of course it certainly helps you on the exams I have reviews and you'll be able to utilize that so you can get that on eBay get it on Amazon get it wherever you get your books uh, I'll also throw up a online link if you want to get an ebook version of it now those can get a little expensive because you're just renting the book for a semester but hey uh, uh, try to get you covered always in that a little bit of class attendance yes yes I'm sure you know that um, Tarrant County College has an attendance policy I just want to go real quickly I do not drop a student if you miss the courses if you miss class I understand it's not a big deal um, if you miss a lot of them it will probably be a big deal because it's a short class so every class you, you miss is like me, missing a week but I don't drop so um, some students believe that they should be dropped from a class by the instructor I believe since you paid for it you used your financial aid for this it, that's all your responsibility so don't worry about that Hopefully, my friends, you're going to be doing some outside work. You can be a little bit studying. Can be prepared for class. Let's make it fun. Let's make it. Let's make it good. Um, I know we are addicted to our phones. Uh, if you actually use phones for calling, uh, if if you need to take anything outside, that's great. But please don't 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 talk on your phone inside the class. I know people scroll all day long, and we start scrolling in class of all our social media. You know, if you can keep that to a minimum. Uh, I get it, but uh, we won't be in the class too long, and it's very disruptive when people are chatting on themselves or uh, starting to, to to just text and scroll nonstop. If that's the best I could do, then I could probably just take the course more of an online structure and, and, and not mess up a class lecture there. I hope that is somewhat understanding of our phones. Uh, we just don't want those to be distractions in the class, and they very easily can be. Title IX reporting. Tarrant County College is very proactive if any student believes they feel uncomfortable for any reason with another student with with with, with something on campus or even something in their personal life any type of an a, abusive situation we do report we have title IX reporting agents we want to help that, that that's that that's the news right in here we take it very seriously and uh, we want to protect all of our students in any way we possibly can so just let you know if you do tell somebody who works for the college about an incident we we do report and we do have a wonderful counseling uh, team they're licensed professional counselors if you ever I mean let's face it college can get a little overwhelming certainly for those of us who are working very hard and trying to have a you know keep our relationships going trying to get our school going sometimes we feel like it's just too much we do have some great counselors that can walk any of us all through that and uh, those meetings are generally always going to be confidential so uh, if you need support we want to give that to you um, children on campus this is a night class it's going to be 6 30 on Tuesdays evenings so and if you take this course in the future you know and it's an in, and then it's a night class as well just remember don't don't bring a, a child on campus and I've, I've seen it actually I see it all the time or Maybe it's a younger brother or sister or some niece or a nephew and just say, hey, just wait out in the hallway because nobody was able to uh, take care of you tonight and we'll be cool. That's really abandonment of a child and it is a class C misdemeanor 
and I would not like anyone to be given a five, six, seven hundred dollar ticket, and I've seen it happen before. If you have to take care of your child, your brother, sister, niece, nephew, friend, um, just that comes first, okay? Do that at home, you know, and then we'll catch you the next time because I uh, uh, don't want anyone to uh, rudely be written a ticket. And, and again, friends, I've, I've seen it happen, and it does generally happen in the evenings, and uh, well, it's not that that happened to us. Campus carry. Um, there's some of the law right in there. This is a hard campus right there to do that on because uh, we do have a child care center on campus. So please speak with our police if you believe that's the right that you want to exercise. There are some very uh, stringent rules to it and we've had some students do it wrong and the end result was that's a felony offense. Their firearm was brandished. This is not open carry, it is concealed. Uh, it was $10,000 worth of legal fees and you never ever get a license to carry again in the state of Texas. So, my goodness, uh, I'm just gonna throw that out there. If somebody believes that is their right to do, please see our police department, exactly the rules I would hate for any student to uh, basically you know, kind of blow their career <clears throat> that early by getting a felony offense uh, of unlawfully uh, carrying a weapon on a college campus. That that would be very difficult to overcome. Okay, so <clears throat> here's how the course looks like as far as grade-wise. I'm trying to make it as simple and straightforward as possible. We have an orientation quiz. Go ahead and take that right now. Just look at your syllabus, go over it. It just shows you how to do an online test and that we understand how the course operates. We have a LinkedIn assignment. It's a great assignment to start branding ourselves. And uh, uh, further directions will go right in that. Just look at the directions on Unit 1. We have uh, HP Life certificates in the field of marketing. This gives you different certifications, uh, digital certificates, which is great. You can put those on your LinkedIn profile. So we're trying to build that resume online. And you also get a digital badge, Marketing Basics. And that's a icon that you get to use, download, and once you finish the, all of the certificates and put it on your resume, it's real good and it automatically links back to Hewlett Packard. HP is Hewlett Packard. It's the Hewlett Packard Foundation trying to, you know, get in, increase the knowledge of business and entrepreneurship across the world. So that's real cool. And they're free. Love free. Two tests, unit one, unit two. We'll do an in-class project, uh, how to do a little marketing analysis on, uh, on, on a, on a local business or, or major business around here. I'll give you a little little experience doing that. And then the very end we have kind of like a wrap-up uh, end of course assessment. And uh, 500 points total. There's the grades right in there. We're looking for gold, silver, bronze at the least. Uh, the only way you make these two right in here is if you just don't do anything. And it happens. It happens. I want, uh, I love to see all gold and silver. That'd be fantastic. Fantastic. As we look, again, you do need to have good computer access. It is a hybrid course, so pretty much everything's going to be online that you will put in, except for the um, in-class assignment, which is which is a fun one. Again, um, invest in a good uh, ten dollar. I, I, I'd go to a hundred dollar. Get a good uh, SSD terabyte drive, or at least five hundred gigs. You know, protect your digital content. That's very important throughout your college career as well as your career. And so invest in a really good flash drive to back up all your work. I say that in every class, not just this class, but for everything you do. You want to be able to say, yeah, I, I, I have done that. Yes, I have some certifications. I always have that backed up. Any rates, who are you? We'll find that out in class. Uh, Looking forward to a good semester, my friends. What we'll do now is we'll go to Canvas and just give you a quick orientation of how to find things. And again, hopefully you will watch this before we meet for class. And that way we can hit the ground running on that first day. So my friends, I'm, I'm certain you've already come to this page because that's how you got the video. Here's, here, here's the home page. Here's the course. Again, we'll start this up on Tuesday, February 13th. That's going to be our classroom. Hopefully it will not change, NBSS 1108. Just basically exactly what we're going through on the course. Um, syllabus right there. Again, go ahead and download that. I will try to have you one on the first day of class as well. 
a course organizer. As you look through your course right in here, I always like to look at syllabus. This tells us all our due dates as well. So, you know, it's a, it's a little faster class, so be prepared to come in working strong. If you're looking at this before class opens, then these are going to be available for you, your LinkedIn assignment, your orientation quiz. Uh, put these down in your phone as well, of these dates, so you will always have them. Uh, I do accept late work, but it does come at a discount. And I don't want to have your, your work discounted. It comes between a 30 and 50% discount. So we have the time to get all of these things done. Modules. Now I am looking at it through my view. The student view is going to be a little bit different, a little bit cleaner, but this is where we are looking right in here is going to be the consumer behavior. That's where we're going to start. We're going to start right in here and we're going to push it all the way through one, two units. And the third one is just the end of course assessment. So very doable course here. And I hope you have a lot of fun. We'll learn about the great role that marketing has in our economy and of course it's extremely powerful because we are a free market economy so that's the easy right in there how to how to maneuver through i'm excited that you took the course i'm glad that you did uh look forward to seeing each of you so hope you were able to utilize this orientation before class so we can get right into consumer behavior on our first day of lecturing in middle of february all right, guys, let's make it a great semester.